This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Hey all. So today I thought of making a video. This answers a question which people keep asking me always. Nikhila, can a non-IT person learn Pega? Nikhila, does Pega has any coding? Do I need to learn any anything like Java, C, C++, .NET or something before I learn Pega? Okay. So this video, I'm going to show how easily you can build an application in Pega without any coding knowledge. Okay. So I just took Paytm. I'll show you how nicely you can build this web page, this menus, this login screen and everything easily in Pega. Okay. Let's see how easy I can do it and how fast I can do it. That is the reason, you know, many clients wish to go with Pega, although it is very expensive because it's pretty easy to build an application in Pega. And many people ask me to make a video on how to build a portal in Pega. So this should also help people trying to learn how to build portals in Pega. See this, this loading icon, I have customized it. I'll make a video on this one as well, how to customize that loading icon as per your project. Okay. Now let's see how even a fresher or a people person with no coding knowledge can build this home page in Pega. So first I need this image. I already uploaded this image in the Pega server. So I'm just going to simply drag and drop the image. Just to drag and drop the image like this image and just tell me what's your image. All the images are uploaded here. Whichever image you want, you can put it here. Done. What next? Couple of menus like this. Okay, fine. Take another box to put all the menus. Okay. And here I'm going to put some link. Where is that? Links. One. You have to put it five times, right? Five or six times it is there. Either you drag and drop or you copy. Anything is okay. I say copy, paste, paste, and paste. Now, so it is, it is gray in color, but here it is like white background. So why don't you put a white background? I just... I'm just trying to give that white background here. Done. Now these all I want next to each other, not one below the other. You can even use inline. Okay. Now let me give names to each of these. Like the first one is Paytm for consumer. Okay, and you want it to be little, you know, bold, right? This the text you want it to be little bold. So can I try header? Let's see. Okay, Paytm for consumer. Now, similarly, let's try the other ones. Paytm for business. Same, you want it to be a little bold, right? You want this text to be little bold and blue colored. And then I have investor relations. Here you go, you have to change it again to get that font size and type. Okay, and then, uh, you know, just company, career, whatever. Okay, I'm just giving this company, okay. Okay, 
you can give career in place of career you know i'm just uh, dropping it and i'll i'll use that button okay you just keep configuring it's all the same so let me show you how to add a button now here i'm going to put a button and that button what is it it's just sign in right it's just a button which says sign in and you will this one also you want to get that blue color like that so that's it okay so it's done the the first half is done right it's quite easy we have completed the first half okay and now i'm going to move to the second half and the second half again just has an image right this image i have already uploaded in my pega server so i'm just going to pull that image control here okay where is that it's gone and just search my image okay do you see it images here now save your changes look at the preview look at this icon so whenever the screen is loading i i just kept that icon let's have a preview of it here you go so now you tell me did i use any coding so far and can a non it person learn and do this okay now let's see how can you convert this like a menu like you know you have this menu options right let's see how can we build a menu for that go here okay so whenever the person clicks on it i need a menu so on click just build a menu okay and uh, let's give some name to it uh now what is this first one called as paytm for consumer right no i will call it as paytm consumer okay and you have formats so i just take standard format mm. okay let's create one what do i need in that menu payments ticket booking financial services okay so i need something called as payments okay done the menu is done now come back just save your screen and look at the preview in the preview this menus and all won't work you can actually you know put it as a portal and try anyways let me give a try to see what the preview these things doesn't work so it's not coming anyways i'll show you when the actual output i can show you okay we added it right yes submit okay so similarly we can add for the other options as well like other hyperlinks whichever are available we can add menus for everything like that okay now this screen see it hardly took me 5 minutes to build now i want to build a, a portal right so whenever the user logs in i want this screen to come right now how do you do that so it's pretty easy
okay now this has to be kept inside another rule called as portal and that's it that is the end and i can give it to a user as a home screen it's very simple Okay, now see, I will add it to a user. See, this is the output. Pretty similar, right? Yeah, we can take care of the spacing, alignment and all we can take care. Is the menu coming? Yes. See, in less than five minutes, I was able to build a screen similar to Paytm and without any coding knowledge, right? Similarly, the same way with the functionality as well. We just need to learn some methods and functions to do the things. So let me quickly show you how can I build a login screen as well. So now when you click on sign in, I just want a login screen, right? So let's see how easy it is to do that. Closing everything. Page section, this one, right? So on this button, I want a screen to come. When the user clicks on sign in, just I want to ask him the username and password. So when he clicks on sign in, Okay, uh, first I will just uh, put a label. Okay, uh, the label says login with your Paytm account. Oh, 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 what happened? Okay, I'll just put a label, you know, asking like, you know, login with your Paytm account, just a simple message. Okay, and this one also, I just want it to look a little bold. So I will go for something like heading three, heading four, but I just give you a little bold text. Perfect. And then, you know, at the bottom, I just want two boxes where the user can enter the username and the password. One for username, one for password. And just a button, you know, where you can click on login, sign in, something like that. So just two text boxes, right? And here I would like to give it as username or login ID, whatever it is. And here comes... password and even if you want this to look a little bold and all you can change the formats here okay and the button which says login sign in something like that and you can just change the color type and all and what if he is new to paytm so i just want to give him an option to you know just to create an account I'll just give a message again. Are you new to Paytm? Uh, 
Okay. And if he's new to Paytm, I'll just give him a link to create an account, create new account in Paytm. And I want these two in one single line. So I'll just say something like this. That's it. We are done. Now, even here, I want a white background. So I can just go here and say, I want white background. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, back. Saved and back. Do you see this? Let's test my changes. Just refreshing and going to my custom Paytm portal to look at my sign in screen. Look at this. Okay. So how much time did it take me? Pretty less, right? And I was able to build somewhat a replica of this. Okay, you can take care of this UI alignment and all later, but somewhat we were able to do it, right? So this is how easy it is. And this is how we can do things without any coding in Pega. Okay. And hope this helps people who are trying to learn how to build a portal in Pega. Thank you so much guys for watching my video.